Hello, Leo. Welcome to your reading. Hope you guys are doing well. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. We're going to take a look at your next relationship. This is for August. Wow. These cards are talking to mom here. Um, <laughs> we're going to take a look at August and your next relationship. See what's manifesting. Important to point out, it doesn't mean it's all going to happen in August. This is just the energy most prominent for the zodiac sign of Leo. So make sure that you check out your moon or your rising sign if this one doesn't resonate for you. If it does hit home, right below in the description box is everything you need to know about the reading, including the link to the extended reading, where we dive a little bit deeper, spy a little bit more, and see what the hell is going on with your person and how they're going to feel over the next six months. All right, so this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more shuffle. I always pre-shuffle. So we are set to go. I am using the Tarot of Mystical Moments for your main spread. I absolutely love the artwork. It's gorgeous. And then Influence of the Angels to clarify. Both of those links are below as well. All right. What happened in the recent past with your person, Leo? The Wheel of Fortune. Major Arcana. If you're new to Tarot or new to my channel, Major Arcana, there are 22 in the deck, and it's just big shifts in energy. Free will doesn't really play out. It's kind of the universe speaking. You don't have a lot of control over it. Um, and zodiac signs are associated with certain Major Arcana. What's going on right now with your person? The Six of Swords. All right, what's on their mind, Leo? What's going through their thoughts? The Four of Swords in reverse. Now, that did fall out when I was pre-shuffling. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. All right, y'all. Get you down so you can see your cards. It's always helpful. All right, what's this person's first impression going to be of you, or how are they going to view you? The King of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Maybe that your job is very important to you. You're established. You you know you've achieved a lot. Successful, loyal. Wanting something long term. All right, how, did, how are they going to feel about you deep down? The Seven of Wands. Uh, fire energy, Leo Sag Aries. I always associate it with, the, um, with Leo, though. Look at the line on his chest. Seven of Wands a little bit different in this deck. It's really fighting for something that you want, like walking your path, standing your ground. How do they want to move forward or how do they want to move forward? The Moon. Major Arcana for Pisces. All right, what's hidden that you don't see coming? It's the Emperor. Major for Aries. A lot of major arcana showing up. What's your advice from spirit? What are they going to want you to do here? The three of pentacles. Beautiful card. I love, 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 love the artwork on this. It's so pretty. All right. And what's the outcome, Leo? What do we have for you and your next relationship? The queen of pentacles. So now we have a king and a queen of pentacles. They're kind of like mom and dad, husband and wife. You know, they're typically married. When you have a king and a queen of the same suit show up like that, it is a very important um, relationship, partnership of some sort. So it could represent, you know, long-term commitment, establishing something, um, really slow but practical energy. So this is all about really building for the future. Scooch all back a little bit so you can see. But um, it's very grounded. It's very mature energy. So your person in the, in the recent past, whether this person's come into your life yet or not, it's different for everyone, right? They experienced some sort of change with the Wheel of Fortune, but things started to kind of go in their favor, right? The Wheel of Fortune can be something that's quite unexpected as well. Could be money. Sometimes the Wheel of Fortune is like literally, okay, things are getting better now financially, but it's something that's part of your destiny. You're, it's fated to happen, but it's in the upright, so it was good for them. Yeah, and that's why right now their energy, so this top row is really your person right now, and so their energy currently is finally they're able to kind of just leave some troubles behind because they had, they had a good change of events here. The Six of Swords could literally be moving or traveling, all right, but this is more just leaving... The bullshit behind. I said it. I said a bad word. All right. On their mind is the Four of Swords in reverse. So a return. So this could be somebody that you've already known. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have already been romantically linked with them. Maybe you haven't heard from them in a while. But again, this energy in this reading is your next big connection. 
So you guys, make sure that you like, share, subscribe for me. I would appreciate it. Again, everything you need to know about the reading and my channel is below in the description box. If you need a private reading, all of that's below as well. All right, let's do it. Leo. Woo! All right, let's see what's coming in. Your next relationship. It's going to be Leo season here. Oh, my dog, the Leo. And my dog is a Leo, y'all. And look, she's barking right when I said Leo season. Oh, boy. All right. She's insane. All right, Wheel of Fortune was in the recent past for your person. Let's see what happened here. Something faded something good though what's this wheel of fortune what happened Woo, look at you showing up i love it in this deck again this is the influence of the angels deck uh major arcana for leo there you go could be somebody that you've known before leo again everybody's on a different time time you know frame here this could be coming for you it's just i mean it's definitely your reading it's all over the reading so a reconciliation possibly or um, again, somebody, your person had something unexpected happen. It could have been maybe they moved back into town or something like that. But it, there's a lot of happiness and clarity and change. This person went through a lot of change because the sun can certainly be changed. Right now, they're the six of swords. They're leaving some troubles behind. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. Okay, so this could be somebody that you knew. Maybe you were romantically linked to them at some point And they were involved with somebody else. Or you're kind of wondering... No, they're single. They're single and ready to mingle, Leo. Or they're about to be. Again, remember, everybody's in a different time frame. But they're definitely leaving a relationship behind. And I also feel like their finances are about to get a lot better. On their mind is the Four of Swords in reverse. What just fell out on me? Two of Swords in reverse. We're taking it. Libra energy. Those swords, you know, there are words, our communication, our mental energy. So a comeback around they're thinking about reaching out to you if they haven't already this could be somebody that you even are at a distance i don't know why i'm feeling that for someone and they're making a decision here it's something about communicating and coming out of a break or what's this two of swords in reverse on this person's mind and the queen of pentacles again some of you have earth in your chart some of you are um leo virgo cuspers or you have Capricorn in your chart, something like that. Look at the Queen of Pentacles showing up twice here. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles on their mind. This person wants something very um, established, like long-term, stable. What's this Queen of Pentacles about? The Ace of Wands in reverse. Oh, I get it. Okay, this Queen of Pentacles was either a wife or another person. It's not you. They've had a they've had a falling out. They've lost the passion for something here. Some okay, two things. Some of you they're leaving someone behind, or they're going through a separation or something like that. This person's definitely single now. For others of you, they're leaving a job behind that they've lost the passion for. And they're starting their own business or something like that. All right, but this person's going to reach out to you. I think this is somebody you haven't talked to in a little while. Um. What's their perception of you? So if you don't know this person yet, this is somebody that's moving into your area or they're starting a new job. They're kind of like starting their life again, like a lot of changes. Um, their first impression of you or what they're going to think of you if you already know them is this King of Pentacles and the devil. Okay. All right, Leo. Really, really, they may view you as a workaholic. I'm not saying it. Because <laughs> the... Um, King of Pentacles with, uh, some of you have Capricorn in your chart. The King of Pentacles with that devil is very, like, successful. Like, they are achieving a lot. They have goals, big time. And they're, like, tied and bound to it. What's this King of Pentacles with the devil? High Priestess? Ah, okay. And for some of you, um, they feel like you're in another relationship. It doesn't mean you are. But again, this is somebody, maybe you've lost contact. They're kind of like, hmm. Last time I checked, Leo was married or Leo was tied and bound to something else. Devil can be third party with a king of pentacles and they're going to be closed off to my advances. Again, I'm not saying this is true. I'm saying this is their perception. This is what they're wondering. How do they feel deep down? So they're going to be curious as to whether you're single because they are. 
What's going on in their emotions? Seven of Wands. This person's kind of, I just keep getting this energy of they're getting their mojo back after really losing the passion for something else. Seven of Wands. Why is this in their emotions? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Their happiness. What's this uh, Seven of Wands with the Ten of Cups? The Eight of Cups in reverse. I'm not surprised. A return. Somebody's having this huge enlightenment, kind of like I'm going to fight for Leo. If Leo's single, and I know I'm single, I feel like we could be happy together. Ten of Cups, the Eight of Cups in reverse is coming back to you. Again, it could have even just been a friend or somebody you knew. It doesn't, when we say return, it doesn't always have to be somebody you were romantically involved with. It's somebody you haven't heard from in a while. Moving forward, what are they going to want with you? The moon. This could be uncertainty, maybe confusion. What's the moon? Yeah, and the Page of Swords. There's more to find out. They're curious, though. I've got two cards of being very closed off with the High Priestess and the Moon. I think that this is their energy towards you. Even if you're not already involved with someone, you may be a little hesitant, and that's going to make them quite curious. They're going to ask about you. They're, they may look at you know social media, see what, you up, see what you're up to, and I think it's because they're trying to get you to budge. They want you to open up here. What's this Page of Swords? Yeah, the Three of Pentacles and discuss and work and build with them. This could have even been someone, Leo, that you had a relationship with quite a while ago, but this is the next person that you're going to spend some substantial amount of time with. Uh, the Three of Pentacles can often be a discussion, right? It's like, I want to work together. Let's build. Let's do this thing. This is what I want for my future. Do you agree? Threes are all about an agreement. So they'll ask you out on a date or you'll have a conversation. What's coming that you don't see? The Emperor. Aries energy and the three of swords in reverse. Hmm. What's this emperor with the three of swords in reverse? What's this about? Judgment? There's your second chance. There's something repeating itself here. It's um but with the emperor, the three of cups or the three of swords in reverse and judgment. This is um recovering something. They may even apologize for something. I don't know why I'm feeling um Somebody was, because the emperor can often be married. Yeah, it's Aries energy. There could be apologies or something about them like being unavailable in the past. And then here they, here they come, they're like, I'm available. And now I want to be with you. I see forever with you. Something like that. Judgment is taking stock of the past. It's not just second chances. And there's recovery here. This person was unavailable to you at one point. But they have left something behind. Others of you that are like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Jennifer. Okay, great. They've left a job behind. But there's recovery here of something. This person also with their job, they probably have like a high-ranking position. They're a boss or something. I'm getting very like masculine domineering energy. <laughs> What's your advice? Your advice is also the three of pentacles. Also too, um, I'm getting a very, <laughs> getting this weird energy of, you may have worked with this person at one time, like they were a superior or you were a superior. Somebody had power over somebody at work. What's this three of pentacles? Why is this the advice? But that's not the case anymore. And then see, yeah, the page of pentacles. Learning. The page of pentacles is a student. It's small, it grows, right? But there's value tied to this. What's this three of pentacles and the page of pentacles? He's communicating. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Did you leave a job, Leo, at one point? Or maybe like refuse a promotion or you couldn't like move up the ladder in some way because you worked with this person? Something weird like that. But now something's changed. God, even for some of you, this person's like, I'll leave a job. Like if you won't be with me because we work together, something like that, y'all. They're definitely single. And they're definitely like leaving an old job, going to another job, or they're leaving a marriage. And they're going to reach out and tell you that now, now's the time. Something like that. Spirit's telling you, work it out. You guys can build this with that three of pentacles. The outcome for you two is a queen of pentacles. What's this about? Capricorn energy. Yeah, see, six of swords. They are moving on from a person or a job. They could be leaving an old job behind and starting a new job. Like, like if you guys were at a distance, they're leaving that and coming towards you. Or if you work together and that's why you, you couldn't be together or something like that. That's the past. 
and they're also leaving like a marriage or something behind. What's this Queen of Pentacles with the Six of Swords? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. There's their new job. And there's your new beginning if you want it. Everybody has free will. You don't have to take it. You don't have to listen to mom here, Leo. This is beautiful. This is a really cool reading, though. This is, again, I'm getting very strong energy of, number one, there was distance. You worked together and you couldn't be together or they were married. All three of those scenarios, we see a shift in energy here. They're moving towards you. They've left a job or they're going to say to you, hey, we can try this now because we no longer work together. I'm no longer your boss or you're not my boss. Something like that. This is a gift. Ace of Pentacles from the universe. universe says, the universe says take it. This person's left something else behind so you can have this new beginning. All right, Leo, over on the extended reading, we're going to see what's going to happen six months after this. Remember, this is your next connection, your next relationship. This isn't just like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am scenario. So in the extended, we'll see how this plays out. I'm going to kind of spy on them, dive into their energy and see what's really going to be going through their thoughts. What's going on in the environment? What do we need to know about this? Their past love, if they have one, like, are they going to be meddling? All that kind of good stuff. So I will see you guys there. I love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.